first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this video we are going to solve 12 data sufficiency question that is based on the topic called ranking and ordering so don't forget to watch our previous two videos so first video topic number one we have solved 12 question that is data sufficiency question on the topic called direction in topic number two similarly we have solved 12 question on the topic that is blood relation so now we are going to solve 12 question that is data sufficiency based on the topic called ranking and ordering so every time i am saying this if you are going to solve a question in data sufficiency either it's a direction blood relation or ranking and ordering first you should know the concept 100 percentage without knowing the concept of ranking and ordering you can't able to solve a single question in data sufficiency topic so before watching this video at least learn the basic concept of ranking and ordering after that watch the complete video definitely you can able to understand all the questions clearly so now before solving 12 question a simple basic is most important in the topic ranking and ordering for example think that there are six friends right so a b c d e f for example i am saying totally there are six friends and some of them are tallest and some of them were shortest so our target to arrange who is tallest and who is shortest right so finally i think uh, we can arrange something two, three four five six for example this will be the tallest person first is tallest and the last is shortest we can place some letters here a b d c e and f for example i am saying right so d c f b a listen here in this arrangement we can say the person d is tallest person right and the person e is the shortest person right he is too short and the person d is tallest among all the friends got it listen here a person C is shorter than only one person and the person C is taller than four person. Friends, can you able to understand this? Listen here. The person C is shorter than only one person, right? And the person C is taller than four person. One, two, three and four. Got it? From F. Listen here. F is shorter than two person and F is taller than three person. Got it? So last second is third is B, right? So B is shorter than three person and the person B is taller than two person. Next is A. So A is shorter than four person and A is taller than one person. And finally E. E is the shortest person. So among all the friends. Friends got it. Most important, right? The words plays a major role. By seeing a words, you need to arrange all the person that is important right so listen here if we fix any letter if i fix f then f is shorter than two person got it because d and c are taller than f so we can say f is shorter than two person and f is taller than three person got it and uh, in case if it is heaviest right got it heaviest and this is lightest for example saying this person uh, he is heaviest person or example we can say he is 101 kg and the lightest person is 50 kg example right so in this case listen here d is the heaviest person and e is the lightest person so c is lighter than one person and c is heavier than four person friends got it the person c is lighter than one person and the person C is heavier than 4 person, right? And next is F. So F is lighter than 2 person and the person F is heavier than 3 person. Similarly, B. So B is lighter than 3 person and B is heavier than 2 person. And the person A is lighter than 4 person and the person A is heavier than 1 person. So E is the lightest person. Got it? So if you didn't know the basics then it is really really difficult to solve a question so just practice in case if you didn't learn the basics just take your books uh, look into the topic ranking and ordering just read first four or five passage definitions and everything you can able to understand it it's just simple right so listen here uh, for example i'm saying uh, a is only taller than b 
out of 5 persons. So what is the meaning of it? Out of 5 person, A is only taller than B. We can make 5, Let's place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this will be tallest and this will be shortest. So what they are saying is A is only taller than B. So A when compared to B, A is only taller. Where will you place A and B in this point? For example, this will be the tallest person and this will be the shortest person. Where you will place A and B? Listen here, if I place A and B here, whether it is correct or not, yeah, it is correct. Because in this diagram, we can surely say A is only taller than B. Got it? Because we are going to place the remaining letters C, D and F. So definitely we can say A will be shortest among all the three person, but A will be tallest with only one person that is B. You should not fix A, B here. That is completely wrong. In case, for example, I am saying if you are fixing A and B here at this point, then definitely here will be C, D, F some letters. So in this case, A is taller than B. As well as A is taller than C, A is taller than D, A is taller than F. But what the question says, A should be only taller than B. So we should fix A and B only at the last. So only we have to fix A and B. So only we can say A is tallest only with B. Because with the remaining all the person A is shortest. So remember that this concept is important, heaviest, lightest. Uh, tallest, shortest and next is the word only. So if you know this concept, it is enough to solve the question. So now let me move on to all the 12 questions in the topic ranking and ordering. Question number 1. Among 5 friends, P, Q, R, S, T having a different height, who is tallest? So our target to find among 5 friends, who is tallest, right? Statement number 1. R is taller than only one friend, right? So let me do one thing. This is statement number one and statement number two. So there are totally how many friends are there? Five friends. So one, two, three, four and five. So this will be the tallest and the last person will be the shortest person. First point, R is taller than only one friend. So I can fix R here. Got it? So this will be tallest and this will be shortest. In the basics, I have clearly told that R is taller than only one person. So R will be shorter than all the remaining three persons. Got it? Second, only one friend is taller than T. Listen here. Only one friend is taller than T. So definitely I should fix T here. Only then we can say only one friend is taller than T. All the remaining person will be shorter than T. Third point. P is not the shortest. So what they are saying is the shortest person is not P. So by using the given data, whether we can find who is tallest? No, we can't. We can say R will be second shortest, T will be second tallest. But what is our target? Our target to find who is tallest. No, it is, we, we won't get the definite answer. Right? Either we can fix P here or we can fix Q here. There are many possible. So we can say data that is in statement number one is not sufficient to answer the question. So statement number two. This is not needed, right? If you practice more number of questions, you can directly solve it. Got it? So beginners do like this. If you are an expert, this is definitely not needed. So statement number two. R is shorter than 3 person. Listen here. The person R is shorter than 3 person. So 1, 2 and 3. So we can fix R here. Got it friends. R is taller than 1 person. R will be shorter than 3 person. So this will be tallest and this will be shortest. So R will be shorter than 3 person. Second point. Only 1 person is taller than P. So only 1 person is taller than T. So definitely I should fix T here. Only then we can say only one person, this person is taller than T. All the remaining three person will be shorter than T. So P is neither tallest nor the shortest in the group. So what they are saying is the point P, that is the person P is neither tallest. So the person P is neither tallest or otherwise the person P is neither shortest. Then where we can fix P? Only one place we have, we should fix P here. Last point. 
q is the shortest in the group so we can fix q here because they have it's a direct statement q is the shortest so remaining only one letter we have p q r s so definitely s will be the tallest what is our question our target to find who is tallest so we can say according to the data given in statement number two s will be the tallest person i can able to find the answer by using statement number two so finally answer for this question statement number two alone sufficient to answer the question whereas statement number one is not sufficient to answer the question question number two among a b c d e and f so our target to find who is heaviest person among them so statement number one so what the first statement says f is heavier than d but lighter than a so listen here totally how many persons are there six persons so one two three four five and six so this will be the heaviest and this will be the lightest and the first point f is heavier than d so the person f is heavier than the person d but lighter than a so the person f is lighter than a so we can fix a here so a is heavier than f and f is heavier than d next point who is not the heaviest so the person a is not the heaviest which means a should not be placed in the beginning whether by using this data our target to find who is the heaviest person by using the data in statement number one definitely it is not possible to find the answer because they have told that a is not the heaviest person either we can fix a here a here a any of this point and the remaining person there are more possibles right either we can fix b c e no by using this data in statement number one it is not sufficient to answer this question so better we can cancel this second statement okay so d is heavier than c and e so what they are saying is the person d is heavier than c as well as e whether by using the statement two we can find the answer no we can't again see here by using statement number one we can't able to say who is heaviest person by using statement number two again we can't able to say who is heaviest person because we are getting more number of possible so one alone is not sufficient two alone is not sufficient what is the next step if both the statements that is statement number one is not sufficient statement number two is not sufficient what should be our next step you need to combine both the statements if you combine both one two three four five six we combine both this will be the heaviest and this will be the lightest so what they are saying is a should not be fixed at the front because a is not the heaviest person and a is heavier than f f is heavier than d and in the next point they have clearly told that d is heavier than c and also e listen here if we can't able to fix a in the beginning then we can fix a here if i fix a here so we can fix f and we can fix d under the second statement they have clearly told that d is heavier than c and e so c and d so definitely after combining both the statement it's clearly we can say what is the remaining person a b is the remaining person right so we can say b is the heaviest person because we have only one letter remaining b so we can fix at the front so b will be the heaviest person so listen carefully one alone is not sufficient two alone is not sufficient and you know what is the next step you need to combine both after combining both we are getting an answer that is b is the heaviest person so finally answer for this question both the statements are necessary to answer this question so both the statement are needed to answer this question so this will be the answer for question number two question number three among a b c d e and f each has a different weight who is lightest so out of six person our target to find who is the lightest person so statement number one so one two three four five six and this will be the heaviest and this will be the lightest first point a is not the lightest so they are saying the person a is not the lightest person c is heavier than d but lighter than a so the person c will be heavier than d but the person c is lighter than a so a greater than c c greater than d listen carefully the person c is heavier than the person d and the person c is lighter than the person a by using this uh, data in statement number one whether we, we can able to find who is lightest no not because listen here we can fix a c d here then remaining three should be placed anywhere else at this point either we can fix e at the last f at the last b at the last 
so definitely by using statement number one alone we can't able to find the answer let me move on to statement number two five and six statement number two b is lighter than only e so listen carefully the person b is lighter than only e so we should fix e here and we should fix b here. so this can be reckon as so listen carefully the person b is lighter than only one person and the person b is heavier than all the remaining four persons so next point f is lighter than b so f is lighter than b so f will be lighter than b okay and the last point but heavier than a so f is heavier than a so f will be heavier than a. listen here friends f is lighter than b but the person f is heavier than a and we already know that we can't able to fix a here in the statement number one so by using this uh, thing whether we can able to find the answer if i fix f here and a here again we are getting two possibles right e and c so definitely statement number two alone is not sufficient to answer the question similarly statement number one alone is not sufficient what is the next step let me combine both if you combine both the statement one two four five and six and we already know that the last should not be a because lightest is not the a and we know e is greater than b in the first point because they have clearly told that b is only lighter than e so we can fix e and b here so a is greater than c c is greater than d and a is less than f so let me do one thing we can uh, fix f here because f is greater than a right so we can fix a here and we can fix c here and the last should be d so no other way right if you combine both the statements listen carefully so a is greater than c c is greater than d f is lighter than a okay so a is lighter than f so a is lighter than f and uh, b is only lighter than e definitely so after combining both the statements we are getting an answer d is the lightest person among them so finally answer for this question both the data that is both the statements are needed to answer this question so this will be the answer for question number three question number four among six person p q r s t and u who is the second tallest so our target to find who is second tallest right so totally how many persons are there there are six persons first point so p is shorter than only two person so one two three four five and six so this will be our uh, tallest and this will be shortest so our target to find who is second shortest right sorry second tallest our target to find this so first statement p is shorter than only two person so definitely i should fix p here only then we can say the person p will be shorter than two person and the person p will be taller than three person got it so person p will be shorter than two person second point and s is taller than only t so s is taller than only t so we can fix s here and we can fix t here so s will be taller than only t and p will be shorter than only two person so by using this whether we can able to find the answer no we can't because the remaining letters are q r either we can fix q here or we can fix r here so definitely statement number one alone is not sufficient to answer the question so let me move on to statement number two Three, four, five, and six. First point: R is taller than only two person. So what they are saying is, R is taller than only two person. So I I should fix R here. So R will be taller than only two person, and the person R will be shorter than three person. So R is taller than only two person. Got it? Second. s is taller than r so s is taller than r definitely at any of these places okay so s is taller than r but shorter than q so the person s is shorter than q so definitely we can fix q here so s is taller than r and the person s is shorter than q last point is u is tallest so the person u is the tallest person definitely we can fix u here because it's a direct statement u is the tallest person and also we know q is taller than s and s is taller than r so we can fix q s and r right what is the remaining letter 
that is a t and uh, p right so t and p is remaining either we can fix t p here or otherwise t p here but this doesn't matter so what is our target our target to find o is second tallest second tallest is q right we don't want to bother about this because our only target to find o is second tallest so by using the data in statement number 2 alone it is easy to say the second tallest will be q so answer for this question number 4 statement number 2 alone is sufficient to answer the question whereas statement number 1 alone is not sufficient so this will be the answer for question number 4 question number 5 among 6 person a b c d e and f who is the tallest person right so out of six our target to find who is the tallest person one two three four five and six first point a is shorter than only two person so a is shorter than only two person so definitely we can fix a here so a is shorter than only two person and a is taller than remaining three persons second point f is taller than only e so f is taller than only e then we can definitely say f and e should be placed here so f is taller than only e and a is shorter than only two person and our target to find o is tallest definitely it is not possible because we can fix c d there are many possibles right so statement number one alone is not sufficient to answer the question statement number two first point c is taller than only two person so c is taller than only two person so we can fix c here so c is taller than only two person and c is shorter than remaining three persons d is taller than c but shorter than b so listen carefully d is taller than b but shorter than c so correct d is taller than c sorry listen here d is taller than c okay so d is taller than c but shorter than b so the person d will be shorter than b so by using this i can fix b d c or otherwise i can fix b d and c so again statement number two is not sufficient to answer the question we can't able to fix exactly right i can fix b d c here one possible or otherwise i can fix b d and any of the some other person here so definitely statement number two is not sufficient statement number one is not sufficient what's the next step you need to combine both so if you combine both and we already know that a is shorter than only two person so we can fix a here c is taller than only two person so we can fix c here and also we know that f is greater than e so f is greater than e and the last b is greater than d d is greater than c so definitely i should fix b and d that's it so finally after combining both the statements we are getting an answer the tallest person is b so answer for question number five both the data that is statement number one and statement number two is needed to answer this question so this will be the answer for question number five